I'm Isaiah Price. I'm from Russellville, Kentucky originally, but I moved to Amherst to go to Amherst College um, where I'm triple majoring in geochemistry, biology, and psychology. This summer, I'm participating in the REU program at the University of Iowa in evolutionary sciences. At school, I would like to do work in the field of evolutionary virology, so this REU program in evolutionary sciences was an amazing fit for me. We use an open access platform called GenBank. GenBank allows scientists to upload sequenced genetic information they've collected. We can then look for our family of viruses, Polyoma veridae, and use the data collected to run analysis telling us evolutionary rates. So I am I'm Drew Kitchen. I'm an associate professor of anthropology at the University of Iowa. Um, I'm an anthropological geneticist, so I study human genetics and evolution of human infectious disease. So I'm, I use human genetic variation um, to infer the history of, of populations, human, human populations. So when people moved when, where, how, how long these populations have been around, and how large they are. In infectious disease, I'm interested in, I look at the genomes of viruses and bacteria and parasites to figure out um, when these populations started infecting humans and how human history has um, patterned diversity. Um, my lab, um, my students are now focusing on looking at time scales of evolution because it really matters whether you're looking at some, when something emerged 10 or 20,000 years ago versus emerging four or 500 years ago. Right? Because if it emerges four or 500 years ago, you can imagine other things might emerge in shorter time scales as well and become ubiquitous and be found throughout. Um, and so that changes our expectations of, of, of what, um, what might emerge, how things, how, how things might emerge, and how human history and, and human behavior um, plays a role in patterning uh, the diversity of things that emerge and the directions emerging pathogens might go through human populations. They listed all the programs out and he, he listed that he did viral work and after I started reading a bunch of his CV, or his CV and his password, I was like, oh, he's a major player in the field, so I was super excited to get to work under him and I listed him.